give it up for Ryan Turner! Thank you for coming. I want to talk about uh, what it means to be a man. I know I might look like an ex-boy band member that tours high schools and says to eat your fruits and veggies. I want that broccoli. Tell me why it's full of tons of nutrients. <laughs> That's one of our songs. But I'm a man. I'm a man. I've taken all the right steps. I've checked all the boxes. I've got a beard. Beards are manly, right? Look at Tom Hanks and Castaway. After he learned how to survive an island, right? I've learned the right walk, the man walk. Anyone knows that alpha men walk like they got two watermelons under their arms? <laughs> and they walk, they don't bend their legs. So, oh, so, Chad, hey, hey. It's like a weird bro march to the penguins. <laughs> My girlfriend says she wants to feel protected by me. And for those that don't know, that's a very high bar that's set. Her father is a fighter pilot. Her <laughs> uncle worked for the CIA. And her grandfather literally went to the moon. <laughs> My father was a software engineer. Soft is literally in the job title. <laughs> Not even hardware. <laughs> Her father taught her how to remove a man's trachea when she was 14. <laughs> My father taught me how to remove a virus from a Windows 95 computer. <laughs> so I'm always looking for ways to protect, to learn how to protect. I signed up for boxing. Anyone take boxing classes? Yeah. I think, but I think I need the prequel to boxing classes. Like the intro to the intro. Because I get to the class and the instructor's like, you got a rap? I'm like, oh, that's unconventional, but okay. Yo, yo, uh, I like to, I like to box. I'm not wearing socks. He's like, that's disgusting, why aren't you wearing socks? He goes in size and brings this material out and starts to wrap my hands. And if you ever want to feel emasculated by another man, have him wrap your hand with a piece of material while he's, literally his face just says, I'm not paid enough to do this. So the class starts and he starts calling out, jab, hook, cross, uppercut. And I'm like, I, I just need the basic stuff. I, you're assuming I've punched people before. Are those types of punches? No, I just need the one. Just the man punch. Just the... That's why I'm, that's I'm here. I hear the people in the class, they're going tss, 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 tss. I'm like, are you trying to tell me a secret? Is this a weird beatboxing class? Are you trying to taunt me? Because, yes, I am afraid of snakes. Thank you very much. So for those that don't know, tss is a sound that they inaudibly make when they make a punch, they go tss, tss. But my sound is more of a, no, no, stop, stop, it's not a little mic. So after a week of the class, you know, I feel really confident that I can protect her if a giant bag ever gets in our direction. Watch out. I was walking her dog the other day, her dog's a husky. I'm a husky. <laughs> We're strolling down the road and uh, your dog sees something in the bushes. It jumps into the bushes, grabs it, comes out. It's got a bird in its mouth. It lays the bird at my feet. And it's still alive. It's still alive. Part of me is flattered. I'm like, wow, this dog just hands something to me. It's alpha. It's like, here, master. Here's a dead beast for you. <laughs> the other part of me thinks I'm being challenged. <laughs> you move and sink. <laughs> By this time, other people that are walking the dogs see me stand towering over this dying bird. So what's a man to do? Do I save the bird? Do I give it CPR? Would that save it? Do I give it bandages? Do I call PETA? Would PETA help? Do I have to kill it? Do I have to strangle it? Can you strangle a bird? Do I curb stop it? Do I American History exit test? Then we have like a Harambe situation if it goes viral. Do I have to feed it to the dog, let it finish what it started? Do I have to eat it? <laughs> So I did what any other man would do in that situation. I ran away. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend always asked me, you know, what would you do if a, if a catastrophe happens? If there's just this big thing that we can't foresee, how would you handle it then? And I'm like, don't worry. I've been training for that too, okay? I do escape rooms. <laughs> 
<laughs> For those that don't know, escape rooms are rooms that you pay to get locked in. <laughs> you try to escape. And I mean, I've escaped from cannibals' dens, from haunted mansions, and like the zombie apocalypse, so I'm pretty sure I can handle anything that comes our way, okay? Okay. <laughs> So I'm feeling pretty confident I'm a protector. We go out to the bar. I put my arm around her and I say, you know, I love you. You don't have anything to worry about. I'm here. About 15 seconds later, the guy comes up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sexy. Can I buy you a drink? He's talking to my girlfriend, not me. <laughs> and mind you, my arm is literally around her. I'm just staying there. Like, this guy doesn't know I took boxing classes. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, this is my chance. Before he walks away, I'm like, hey, bro, you know, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> Pushes me. What'd you say to me? Like, all right. Looks like we're gonna fight. Okay? It's gonna go like this. But before we do, I'm gonna need you to wrap my hand with these gods. Thank you. Yeah.